Well, welcome to the last day in this room, at least with these speakers. Now, over the years, you and I have spent a great deal of time sharing thoughts, me giving you information, showing you how these work. These are the Infinity IRS fives, some of the greatest speakers ever made. 108 drivers, 12 mid ranges, 32 tweeters, six woofers per side, 4,000 watts of amplification. I mean, it's an amazing, amazing system. And like I say, we've spent time together in this room. And our new speakers, the FR30s. I, I really never expected this. I hoped, but I never expected it. They've now outdone these speakers. And because of that, because they are more musical, because they, well, they use so much more modern technology, lower distortion. I mean, these speakers, as good as they are, and as wonderfully as they have served us over the years, they still are a 1985 pair of speakers. These speakers are still, I mean, they were state of the art in their day, but we measure at the bottom of their mid-range is 10 to 15 percent distortion. We've, we've put filters on them to try and cut that level down. I mean, when Arnie Nudell designed these Infinity speakers, again, they were state-of-the-art. He pushed the limits of what could be done with technology that was, what, 30 years ago? Not very good at math, but what, what <laughs> however long ago that was, um, here we are with these as our reference speakers. And now what we're going to do now, I know a lot of you are like, oh my God, he's going to get rid of them. It's, look, there were only 58 pair ever made, and I treasure these speakers. They have served as our reference for a long, long time. My personal reference, they have served as my personal reference from as far back as 1970, five when their earlier versions, the IRS 3s, 77, something like that. The IRS 5s came out in 85. And the first time I ever heard them was at Harry Pearson's house, Harry Pearson HP of the Absolute Sound, demonstrated the very first pair to me years and years ago. And they've been my reference ever since. But, okay, so now what are we gonna do? Well. I am certainly never going to get rid of these. They're going to have to pull me out by both feet for these suckers are gone. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the FR30s, which have finally surpassed our reference, into this room. And we're going to take the IRS-5 and we're going to move it next door to Music Room 3. Now Music Room 3, well here, tell you what, let's... I'm going to stop the video, because I do all this myself, right? I'll stop the video, and then voila, you will see a new video with me inside of Music Room 3, and I'll show you why we're going to move it. Okay, here we go. And back again. This is Music Room 3. This is next door, literally next door, to Music Room 2, where you and I have spent so much time together. Music Room 3 is much bigger than Music Room 2. And really, over the years, we probably should have set up the IRS 5s in here in the first place. But it wasn't finished. <coughs> I was, <coughs> excuse me, I was anxious to get those things going. Whatever reasons, they lived there for a good number of years. So now they're going to move in here to Music Room 3, where I think they will actually have a better home and be able to perform better than what they were doing in Music Room 2. And the FR30s, which have now bested the IRS-5 and are going to be moving into Music Room 2, where the IRS-5 used to live. And if you can see these, these were the ones that were before the FR30s. And we decided, nah, good try, but let's not go there. And so we went with the FR30s. The FR30s are just, they're just stunning. They're just amazing. 
All right, I'm going to get the crew. And in the next series of videos, you can watch us make the move from Music Room 2 to Music Room 3 and back again. Oh, they're calling me now. All right. Bye. Thank you.